Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel. In our last video, we learned about Git, and in this video, we're gonna be learning about GitHub. So if you don't have any experience working with Git, then I'd highly recommend that you go ahead and check the video on Git, and then you can come back to this one. But basically what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna learn how we can basically set up Xcode to work with Git, so that we can, you know, like uh, push our changes onto GitHub, and then, you know, create pull requests and everything like that, all right? And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to be able to collaborate with people all over the world. So I can basically push something to the code base and someone from, um, I don't know, Canada just pushes something or someone in Nigeria just pushes something, all right? So that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. If you're interested, then go ahead and absolutely destroy the subscribe and like buttons and see you guys soon. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our browser and we're gonna go over to GitHub. Now GitHub, basically, you can basically think of GitHub as a um, cloud storage that basically hosts our code. So, you know, as a software developer, you're probably gonna be working with people from all over the world, right? And um, different people are gonna have to save or basically push their code to a particular place. And what GitHub does is it receives the code from different people and still has the brain power that Git has to offer. So the first thing we're gonna do here in this video is we're gonna create a new repository. So just go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and select the owner. And I'm gonna call this um, intro to Git, okay? And this is gonna basically be the name of the repository and you can think of as the name of the project where um, our code is gonna be stored. So we can add a description, the best, best app, in the, where am, I, where am I writing, in the world. So we can decide to make this public or private depending on what you want. So I'm just gonna leave this as public and you can add like readme for your documentation or instructions. You can add git ignore so that certain um, files or folders are not pushed. You can choose your license and some other extra. But for now, all of these are just good enough. So just go ahead and create your repository and uh, that's good. Now, one thing we need to be aware of here is this link. So this is basically the link to the repository that we've just created. So you can see here intro to Git, and this is the link to access our code, okay? So what we need to do next is we need to copy this link, and we're gonna have to create our uh, project offline. So we're gonna create a project, open up Xcode, and click on file, new, and new project. We're gonna create a new app, and I'm gonna call this intro to Git. It doesn't have to be the same name, of course. So I'll just go ahead and click on next. I can save this on my desktop. Remember this one is checked in and that's fine. It's either you do this or you clone, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for the sake of the last video. So go ahead and create the project. Okay, so um, good. Now the next thing we need to do is to actually connect um, this Xcode, this project that we've made to um, basically to the repository on GitHub, right? So how do we do that? We just need to go over to, so, not this one, source control, go to repositories. Now when you expand this, you can see our remotes, right? Now when you expand, there's nothing over there. So what we need to do is right click and say add existing, right? So this is not a new one, we're doing add existing and then we need to paste the location. Okay, and this is the location. You just go ahead and add. Right, now that this is done, we can actually try to push our code to GitHub to see whether or not everything has been set up because currently we've created a base project. So we can push this project. So this can be our new starting point. Now, how do we push? You can just go ahead and go to source control and click on push. And this is what we're gonna be doing. So the branch doesn't exist online. So it's gonna create a new branch and we can just click on push. Oops, and a lot of messy things are happening over here. Now, there are a couple of things that we need to do. The first thing is we need to actually connect Xcode to uh, connect GitHub to our Xcode. So go ahead and click on this, click on preferences, and go over to accounts, and click on this plus icon, scroll down and choose GitHub, okay? Now click on continue. Now we need to add our account my username is emaco, but I need to get a token. 
So this token I need to get from GitHub. You can click on this link and see how everything is done, but that's why I'm here. So I'm just gonna help you. So open up Safari. And what we wanna do is actually click on your profile, go over to settings, and uh, in settings, go to the bottom, click on developer settings, personal access tokens, right? And here, what we wanna do is wanna generate a new token. And um, you can basically call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this uh, Git tutorial. And uh, you can basically set your expiration. You can say no expiration or whatever you want. I'm just gonna choose custom and say to expire tomorrow, okay? So that it expires before you see these. But basically, if you remember from Open Back Xcode, you see that there are a couple of things they said your access token needs to have access to. So admin, public key, write discussion, repo, and user, right? So we need to make sure all of those are checked. So repo, um, we have admin, public key, we have user, we have write discussion, okay? So now I can just go ahead and click on generate. And now we have a token generated. So just go ahead and click on the copy. And now we can go back to Xcode and paste that right here. Click on sign it. Good. So now we have this connected and we can go back here and try. So go to source control and we try to push again. Ooh, but we still get this error. Now, if you notice here in the address, we can see that this address is not the same as I pasted initially. So this is um, an SSH kind of address. If I were using like, uh, what I actually copied was HTTP S. So what I need to do is there are two ways. It's either I connect my account to be able to support um, SSH, which we're gonna do later on. But the first thing we can do is to basically say that it should use HTTPS. And now I just have to mention, not everyone will face this issue. You would only face this issue if you are basically redirecting to use SSH, all right? So how do we fix that? You can basically just open up terminal. And what I'm gonna have to do is open a file called um, dot, uh, git config, all right? So here you can see I have something here. So we're, we're saying, um, Whenever you have, instead of HTTPS and github.com, use this, all right? So I'm basically gonna remove this. So just delete that and save. And now, now that I have that done, I can come over here, go to source and push. And just like that, we have pushed our app. We can go here and refresh the page and you can see that our initial commit is here. So this is basically our base project. Now, what if you wanted to have the SSH? So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna put that back. So just undo this and close this. What else do I have open? And uh, actually here, what I can do, so now we have SSH and if you open back Xcode, uh, let's actually close this one. So if you have Xcode open again, we can try to push. Nope, this one. And now this isn't gonna push again, right? Because there's no you know, SSH connection and it's trying to use this one, right? So we are gonna need to create a key. Now, if you click on this, you can see that we don't have any. So I can just go ahead and click on create new. And then it says I should pass in passphrase. I can just go ahead and press enter. And this is creating an RSA key and just go ahead and save. Now this is done, it has uploaded this, and now I can try to push again. But this doesn't work. Now it says this, I have this error. Now, depending on when you're watching this, you may not have this. I'm, I believe that maybe for future Xcode is going to generate the right key. But basically it's saying that we don't want RSA, it's no longer used, but um, a specific type, I can't remember what it's called. But basically what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cancel this. We're gonna open up terminal, right? And uh, we're basically gonna say SSH key generator. And we're gonna create this one, ECDSA key, all right? But right here, you're just gonna need to specify the email to your GitHub. So just go ahead, click on this, enter, passphrase, enter, enter, and the key has been generated, right? So now that the key has been generated, we can actually go back to our preferences. And in our preferences, click on GitHub, click on SSH, and here we're just gonna choose the ECDSA, okay? 
So it's going to try and verify and it does not exist. We can actually go ahead and click on this button to upload it automatically or we can copy it and manually upload it. So I'm just going to click on upload so it uploads it to GitHub, but I'm going to show you where that can be located. So click on this, go over to settings and go to SSH. And right here, you can see that it has uploaded this one. All right. So the first one here was the one that was generated with um, the RSA. But this one is the new one that we've created that we want to use. All right. So what do we do next? Let's go back to Xcode. And now we're going to try to push again. So I'm just going to click on source and then push. And I'm going to click on push. And this time it has gone. So I can go back here and we can refresh. But we can't even really see any difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes and then I'm going to push. So go back to Xcode and we will go to our main.storyboard. And in our main.storyboard, I'm basically going to change the background color to um, this one, Indigo. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And how do we commit? Good source control, we can say commit. And this is a change. We say change storyboard color. All right. I'm committing this to the main branch because I'm in the main branch. And now I'm going to click on source control. I'm going to say push. All right. So we're going to be pushing to the main branch. So go ahead, click on push and pushing like that. We can go to GitHub, refresh. And now we have, oops, storyboard. Did I click? Color. Should it be? C O L O R. Well, anyhow. So, but this is the new commit that we've just added 16 seconds ago. And basically, that's it. We've basically connected our GitHub, our Xcode to GitHub. So now I'm just going to very quickly walk you through the Git workflow um, using GitHub or with GitHub. So, what we're going to do is, first of all, on Xcode, we want to create a new feature, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a branch or we're going to branch out of the main branch. So how do we do that? You can just come over here, go to branches. And here we're just going to say new branch from main. And I'm going to call this branch Maco. All right. So this is going to create a new branch. Now we are in Maco. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to the view controller. And here I want to change the background color of the view. So I'm going to say view dot background color and this is going to be equal to dot red all right now if we go ahead and run this we will see that the app is red is it going to be red okay so the code works and what i want to do now is i want to commit right so i'm going to click on source control and say commit and say change background color all right so now I have that done and uh, just go ahead and commit this. And now that I have this committed, what I can do is I can push this branch. So remember in our last video, what I did was I merged this branch to main from here. But when you're working with GitHub, you want to merge on GitHub, but you don't want to merge directly. So you're going to be working with teams. So you will push your branch, which is your copy to GitHub by doing like source control and push. And because the branch does not exist, it's going to create it. So click on push. It's going to push the branch. And now when you go to GitHub, you can see that now you have two branches over here, the main branch and Maco, just like it is on your local device, right? On Xcode right here, Maco and the main, right? So what we're going to do next is we're going to create something called a pull request. Now, pull request is like you saying, um, I want to merge Maco, which is the branch I just worked on, into main, which is the base branch, right? So um, this is my title. You can write whatever description you want. But whenever you create a pull request, then GitHub is going to basically show you the changes that you made. So all the changes that you made in your branch, we're going to be able to see that here. And usually this is what reviewers or other people that you're working with is going to basically check to see that you made proper or correct changes, right? So when they check that all of the changes you made are good, then they will go ahead and approve your request. So they can go here and click on approve. I cannot approve my own request, of course, but they would approve. And then, okay, whoever it is that's responsible for, maybe you will now go ahead and merge. 
Now, when you click on merge, Git is going to basically just say, okay, these are the changes that you made and I'm gonna put those changes into the base, which is the main branch. So you can go ahead and delete the branch here. And if you go to the main project or the main branch, now you can see change background color, which was just merged. And this was done by me, okay? Now, another thing, which is the last I'm gonna point out in this video is on um, GitHub, the current base branch, which is main, has this particular commit, right? But if I go over to the main branch in my local, or just go here and say checkout, if I go over here, you would notice that the changes are not there, right? And this is because the changes are not, haven't been downloaded to my local device yet. It's basically on GitHub. So how do we do that? We're on main. All we need to do is go over and pull, right? So I'm just gonna click on pull and this is going to be pulling the main branch, right? So click on that and just click on pull. And just like that is going to work some magic and you can see that all the changes that are on GitHub have now been pulled to the main branch on my device. Now I can go ahead and run this and we will see red, okay? So um, I know I have rushed through a couple of things here. If you have any confusions whatsoever, please just go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll definitely try as much as possible to respond. And um, if you need uh, like more videos explaining certain concepts or certain aspects of collaboration with Git, just go ahead and let me know. And I can you know, create a video to dive deeper into a specific concept. But Git is very broad. So you can do certain things you can do like push, pull, merge, rebase, um, cherry pick. There's a lot of things that you can do, but uh, just take it one step at a time. Of course, just let me know if you have any confusions and until the next video, you guys stay cool. Yay!